hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 8 divided by m is equals to square root of m and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here first you see that this m is divided by left hand side we need to move this m to the right hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this square root of m after moving this to the right hand side it will be written as 8 is equals to m times of square root of m so further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 8 is equals to here we have m times of square root of m so we need to remove the square root sign and for this uh, we apply squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form this is 8 square and we apply these two separately on both of these two values and it will become m square into square root of m and its whole square and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and we have this is 8 square and now we need to write the prime factors uh, of 8 or in other words uh, we write 8 square as 64 equals to this is m square and this 2 and square root are gone and here we again get m and now here further in the next step we have m square multiplied by m is equals to m cubed equals to this is 64 and we write it as 4 cubed we know that as 64 equals 4 cubed and now further uh, we move this 4 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 4 cubed is equals to 0 and in the next step we need more simplifications and here we apply the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square according to this cubic formula we write our uh, above equation as in this form so uh, here we have m cubed minus 4 cubed becomes m minus 4 times of this is a square here our a is m square plus a b here our a is m and b is 4 plus b square b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is m minus 4 times of here we have m square plus this is 4 times of m plus this 4 square becomes 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0. Further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m minus 4 equals to 0 and in the second case is we write m square plus 4m plus 16 equals to 0. So in this case we easily get the value of m is equals to 4 this is the first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation now first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as m is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so after applying this uh, it will be written as m is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 and uh, further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 
and in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of here we need to take common 16 inside the square root sign and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 but then in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, m is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus we know about that square root of 16 becomes here 4 times of square root of 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need little bit more simplifications and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus uh, this is 4 times of here you see that negative sign appears inside the square root sign so it will becomes iota and it will be written as a square root of 3 times of iota so here we break this fraction and we apply these two separately on both of these two values and further we need more simplifications and it will be written as m is equals to this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get minus 2 plus minus this is also 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here 2 times of square root of 3 into iota these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and in this question we have only one real root that is m is equals to 4. These are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.